the Redmi K30. Redmi's latest K-series smartphones here with me now. It went on sale a little while back in China. This year is the 4G variant, the one that's possibly coming to India soon. In today's video, let's unbox it, take a close look at Redmi's all new K30 and also give it away. Now stay tuned till the end of the video for more information on the giveaway. For now, hey guys, Ash here from C4 Retech and if you do end up liking what you see here, please don't forget to turn on notifications by hitting that bell icon. Let's get this video started. So here's the box the K30 comes in. We've got big, bold K30 branding to the front. We have color shifting text here, smaller but similar branding to the sides. There's the Redmi branding to the back. The bottom mentions the RAM storage. This here is the 8128 variant. The serial number, IMEI and other information are also present here. Let's now open up the box, say it's designed by Redmi here. Inside we have the SIM tool, some regular documentation like the quick start guide, warranty card and so on. All in Chinese of course as this one is imported from China. That's the only market it's on sale currently. Next up we have a soft case. If you remember the K20 and the K20 Pro, they came with a colored hard case. But I guess we are back to transparent TPU cases now. Moving on, we've got the Redmi K30 itself. Peeling the plastic off. Let's also remove that sticker. The back, it looks different. It's shiny, but that circle around the cameras, it gives off an almost 3D vibe here. The blue, it looks great, but personally, I feel the K20, it looked better. I mean, this, it just looks so much cooler, right? What do you think? Anyway, let's turn the K30 on and set it aside for the moment. Uh, we then have a 27 watt fast charger along with a USB Type-C cable to wrap up the box contents. So now let's get back to taking a close look at the K30. Now with this phone, Redmi has changed a few things. First off, the K30 comes in at a cheaper price point than its predecessor. That means a few nice to haves have been removed. One of those is that all screen display. Neither do we get an all screen display nor do we get an AMOLED panel anymore. Instead, there are a couple of cutouts up top. Now, fun fact while at first glance this seems to be an implementation similar to what we've seen uh, with, say, Samsung's Galaxy S10 Plus, it actually isn't. There are two cutouts here and the pixels in between they've been blacked out. When you look at them in the dark or at an angle or for a second when you hide the cutouts, it's noticeable. These cutouts, they hold a 20 megapixel selfie camera and a 2 megapixel depth sensor. This camera does seem to do well with regards to selfies. Now, this might just actually be the same sensor from the K20. Uh, from a skin tones or dynamic range perspective, it seems pretty similar as far as performance goes. Uh, what's new here is the movie mode that we first saw with the Mi Note 10. Uh, the one where we get black bars to the top and bottom to create a wide angle feel that's present. It's a cool little option to have the portrait mode implementation. It seems better than ever. That's thanks to the dedicated depth sensor. This camera supports up to 1080p video and the video quality is good. But I feel the K20 used to do a better job. Maybe we should actually do a complete comparison. Anyone interested? Leave a comment if you are. Now this 20 megapixel camera also allows for face unlock, which remains as quick and accurate as ever. But the other biometric option, the fingerprint scanner, that's now been moved to the side of the phone uh, given that you need an AMOLED panel to be able to implement an in-display scanner. That's what Redmi's had to do here. Now, this is a fast fingerprint scanner, but I've never been a fan of side-mounted scanners. But let's see how it ends up turning out here. Well, so far, what we've seen with the K30 is what it's lost since the K20. There is something truly excellent that the K30 has gained. And that's the 120Hz refresh rate of the panel here. So far, we've seen 120Hz panels only on super premium products. For example, the Razer Phone 2, the iPad Pro, the ROG Phone 2. Uh, but with the Redmi K30, Redmi's brought the 120Hz refresh rate displays to the masses. Now the display here, it's gotten larger. It's a 6.67 inch panel. The resolution remains the same at Full HD Plus. And along with the back, this is covered by Corning's Gorilla Glass 5 for protection. 
This display is bright at 600 nits, that's the maximum brightness. The colors are vibrant, uh, it also has HDR support. This is an LCD panel and the viewing angles it offers are excellent. Now given the 120Hz refresh, uh, everything feels quite fluid. Maybe Redmi should call it their fluid IPS panel. Now jokes apart, I can't help but be impressed by this panel. I love AMOLEDs but the smoothness that the K30 brings to the table, it just about makes the trade-off worth it. Just about. Now, to handle this high refresh rate panel, Redmi is gone with the Snapdragon 730G chip. This is a very marginal improvement over the SoC found on the Redmi K20. In fact, the CPU performance, it remains unchanged. The clocks are the same, the clock speeds are unaffected. The GPU though gets a 15% boost. Now, is this gonna be enough to handle 120 Hz? Uh, now that is a question that remains to be answered. I'll have more for you in my full review once I've spent ample time with the K30. For the games that we tried, they fared reasonably well, but I did notice the occasional stutter, uh, not just with games, but even with the interface. This here is MIUI 11 built on top of Android 10. It is early days for MIUI 11 and MIUI usually gets better with time and updates. So maybe it's not a hardware constraint and the stutters do get fixed with a couple of updates. We'll have to wait and see. Like I said, I'll have more to say in my full review. By the way, Redmi does offer four RAM storage options here for the K30, 664, 6128, 8128 and a 8256 option. And the storage used here is UFS 2.1, which happens to be expandable. Uh, yes, there is support for microSD in the form of a hybrid tray that's located to the left. This is a welcome addition given the K20 did not have it. I'm also happy to report that Redmi has retained the IR blaster and that's located to the top along with the secondary noise cancelling microphone. So enough because we've started with the placements, we've already seen that the fingerprint scanner which is embedded in the power button that's present to the right and here we also get the volume keys. Finally along the bottom there's the primary mic, headphone jack, speaker, and the USB Type-C port. This port, it supports 27 watt fast charging. The charger is included in the box and Redmi claims the K30 can go from zero to 100 in 68 minutes flat, which is pretty good for a 4,500 milliamp hour battery. This 4,500 milliamp hour battery is the reason why the K30 weighs in at almost 210 grams. It does feel a little hefty, it's 8.8 millimeters thick, the bezels are also thicker this time. Uh, the K30 doesn't feel quite as premium as its predecessor. That's one of the trade-offs that Redmi had to go with to cut the costs. Um, at least from the front, it doesn't look as premium. The back, like I said at the start of the video, me personally, uh, I mean, it does look good now, but me personally, I still feel the K20, it looked a lot better. Uh, anyway, looks are subjective and the back here it is effective it's got four cameras the primary it's a 64 megapixel sensor with a f 1.89 lens this is sony's imx 686 one by 1.7 inch sensor with 0.8 micron sized pixels that effectively become 1.6 micron sized pixels once you account for the four by one pixel binning so by default this camera shoots 16 megapixel images and as you can see they've turned out quite detailed Images do appear a little warm in my honest opinion. Next up, we've got an 8 megapixel sensor with an ultra wide f2.2 lens. It seems to do an excellent job. The images look rich and detailed. Then there's a 2 megapixel macro, which seemed bleh. Even by macro standards, I wasn't really impressed. Uh, finally, there's a 2 megapixel depth sensor to get these kind of portrait shots. It was pretty par for the course. Now, given that the K30 is the first phone with Sony's 64 megapixel IMX 686, and given how popular Sony's 48 megapixel IMX 586 was, we basically saw that on almost every, uh, you know, mid-range flagship that came out, any phone with a flagship chip between uh, 20,000 to 50,000 rupees, it came with the 586. And even some premium mid-range phones, they came with the IMX 586. So, that was such a popular chip. So do you guys want to see a 586 versus 686 camera comparison? Let me know if you're, if you're interested in seeing that and I'll, I will make it happen. Also, let me know if you're interested in seeing an IMX 686 versus Samsung ISOS LGM1, 64 megapixel Sony versus 64 megapixel Samsung. Is that something you'd be interested in seeing? Again, let me know. 
let's make it happen now finally let's talk price again like i said in the start at the start of the video the k30 is a phone where redmi's cut the price uh, the k30 starts at 1599 yuan in china that converts to about 16000 rupees the k20 on the other hand it launched at 1999 yuan and in india at 22000 rupees so it seems like redmi is compromised on looks a little this time yes but the redmi phones have always been function over form and the pure aggressive price point here that they've hit and the features that the k30 has brought with it it might just make it a worthy option so let me go ahead spend more time with this phone and i'll have more to say in my full review so subscribe if you haven't yet and now let's talk giveaway as always i'm gonna keep it very simple the giveaway it's for c 4 tech subscribers so you're gonna have to be a c 4 tech subscriber to enter and that's pretty much it plain and simple just head on over to the link in the description below uh, make sure you are subscribed to c 4 tech that's all that counts as an entry this giveaway will run from today to the 20th of january and on the 21st the winner will be chosen at random and you will get my Redmi K30, the one that you're seeing in this video. Now, if you want to improve your chances, there are, of course, some extra entries like following us on socials, but they are entirely optional. So, guys, this is an international giveaway. So, no matter where you are located, you can enter. And I guess that's pretty much it. Good luck with the giveaway. Now, do let me know what other videos would you want to see about the uh, Redmi K30, speed test, full comparisons, charge test, whatever it is. Leave a comment and I'll try to make it happen. Now with that, we get to the end of this video. Thumbs up, thumbs down based on whatever you felt about it. Subscribe, turn on notifications by hitting that bell icon if you haven't yet. Thanks a lot for watching. Till next time, my name's Ash. You've been watching C4 Retech and I'm signing off for now. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye.